Hello YouTubers. I'm making a, another video today, this time with an issue on the car. The issue is <clears throat> the convertible top upper quarter panel, which slides in and out based on the top of the car being up or down, has failed. And I'll cover with you all the issues on it in just a moment. But I'm going to put up on the screen the parts that are covered in this thing real quick. And then we'll pick back up here. <clears throat> so those are the parts that you're going to need. Um, not everybody needs both parts. Not everybody needs both things. Um, my issue ended, up, issue ended up being both, which we'll cover in the video. And I'll show you why. <clears throat> but your issue may be something completely different. It may be one or the other or both like me. So let's get right to it. In my last video, I said I've never had a problem out of the convertible top. And still technically I have not. But I have had an issue with a part that many people have had an issue with. On the convertibles and that's this guy right here not retracting should be back just like that side is over there there's a mechanism that pushes and pulls and that has snapped off I'll show you better once I get this part out and we'll go through this together from what I can tell this will be the only video online on how to replace this this is called an upper upper quarter panel cover I think I'm telling you that correctly upper upper quarter panel cover and that's for the right side and that's the left side so we're going to cover the right side here is the new replacement part I'll put the part number that I had to order online and uh, that way you can get one if you have to have one and we'll cover how to replace it First thing I need to do is put this top tonneau cover back so that I can access this piece here. I figured one of the best things we could do right now is to review how this thing is put together. And what you can see is you got guide pin clips, guide pin, guide pin, guide pin. Not really guide pin, but guide clips, clips. You can see it goes throughout the part. So what that tells me is that this thing snaps in. That means that this piece here on the car should snap out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull that pin here or plug, whatever that is. I don't see one anywhere else. So Let's pull this guy here, sorry. Let's pull this guy here and then start pulling this part out. Okay, that's it. Pen is out. And then we can see here how it's all connected in. Right back here. The problem is, I know this piece is already broken off, so it should come out, no problem. Otherwise, I would be worried about how it's connected and to make sure I don't break something in that process. But since it's already broken, I believe it should just come right out. Let's give it a shot. Okay, it is, as we suspected, you just flipped it all out, unclip it. I went carefully, one pin at a time, until I got it all out. And here is the broken piece. Looks like it's out of the track on this side. Oh, there it is, back in the track. That's how it is. Oh, that's how it is. So. There's a piece. Let's see what we can figure out is the difference. Okay, um, so the parts are out, like I mentioned a minute ago, but I wanted to show you the difference here, what I think has happened. Um, this part here, this is the old part, new part. 
See how it's up in here like this? It doesn't look like it should be right there. This is the new part. Um, I don't know if years of pressure has pulled this up because this thing is under tension. Let's just see if I can show you. It, it wants to go that way all the time. That's where it wants to go. And this little metal thing sitting on top of this metal thing has tension on it all the time. And that's what causes it to go back. This one just looks like it doesn't want to go. just at an odd angle I don't know another thing I notice see the buckle here to the left arrow like pointing to the left this thing must have had some sort of pressure because on this one that does not exist anyway I think this is what's caused the failure. When I pulled this out, like I said, um, it popped right out because it's already broken from whatever was pushing and pulling it with the top would work. So I've now got to find what was connecting this to the mechanism down in here. So let me see if I can find that and then I'll show you what's okay. going on. I think I figured it out. This bar here was bent this way. It was pretty far out. I would imagine whenever whatever happened to cause this to break, it bent out based on the pressure. So the way this thing works is, evidently I've got to order another part. This part here sits here this part here sits like this and the two work together when the top goes up this part here pushes that way pushing hang on sorry one handed here pushing this black tab here I can show you better on the other side probably this piece here sits down in front of this and when the top goes up this pushes it in again this sits this part here sits down on that track you know, somewhere in the middle of this track and when the top goes up it pushes that in. So something catastrophic failed. It's this part here that has failed on the top. So I probably don't need this too late. What I need is this. So um, the two have come apart. Now let me show you on the other side. You see, this piece here is locked in the top and it is straight. Again, mine was pushed out a pretty good amount. It sits right here, dog hair. Anyway, and that pushes it against the top, the mechanism here. So when the top goes up, this this bar goes forward, pushing this down in. So I'm not ready to fix the top because I need this guy. So I'll get back with you in a couple of days. Instantaneous on your part, but in a couple of days, I'll get this thing part, this part here ordered and yeah, and we'll pick up where the video left off. Okay, YouTubers, it's the next day. Went to the local Chevrolet place and they had what I needed in stock. It's part 
8423-7014. And it consists of several pieces. Um, what we're looking for is the piece that went onto this track, which is this guy. Slides onto the track. Oops. Like so. And then when the piece is in place, it slides it forward down into the recess when the top comes up. So, but as you can see, it came with other parts. This part number consists of several pieces. Let's see if we can't get it out. It's childproof. That looks to be this guy here. Goes like this. So it consists of that bar. This looks to be the lower bar. You can see the lower bar. This is the one with the two rivets in it. And that's this guy here that has the two rivets. So I wouldn't think about taking this out, but because the mechanism works, but if you look, the uh, pin part of this piece looks skewed that way. If you look at it regular, it's not skewed. You can just barely see below it's skewed. Probably wouldn't make a difference, to be honest. Because drilling that out, it's not the end of the world, but I gotta raise the top to do that. I'm gonna have to leave the top in a position to where that's exposed. It will allow me to drill that out because it came with two new rivets. I have a rivet gun already and that should replace this whole mechanism. I'm just debating taking it apart. Anyway, I'm going to continue looking at it and I'll be right back. All right, looking at this thing further. Getting a rivet gun in there is not going to be that big of an issue, but drilling this thing out is, because it's pretty low tolerance there for, you know, when you drill something out, it wants to shoot on across. I think my best bet is going to be to straighten out that pin head here. I can, the worst case scenario, I um, have to replace it. I have a replacement one. But I think what I'll do is I'll take this lock washer off, see if I can straighten out that head. And it's probably for no reason, real reason. This thing is gonna work no matter what. Um, anyway, I, I just don't think you can go about it if you wanted to replace this piece. If it's all mangled, I guess you would have to, but just getting to it, you don't want to accidentally graze your top or the rubbers or anything trying to get that thing to drill out. Could see if it goes up. That gives a better view of it, a little bit better view. Still not great. Anyway, let me uh, straighten out that pin. I'm gonna drop this thing back down, straighten out the pin, and I'll and probably end up just putting this thing back together. And I'll show you how we bolt this thing in to the uh, rod hanging down. All right, I wasn't able to move that pin. We're just gonna have to send it the way it is. 
Um, I don't want to make this a bigger project than what I think it has to be. So I'm going to slide this piece back on. I'm going to attempt to slide this piece back on. Okay, this piece is on. This butts up to the outside just like that. Sorry, this butts up to the outside like that. And there's a pin that goes through it. And I want to be very careful with this pin because I only got oh, two pins. through that and I'll through that. That's what's going to push the door into the cabin and then this pin or this clip here slides over this piece here. Do you see how that would be there? And I'm just going to slide it down. I'm going to have to put the phone down to do it so I don't drop it. All right, so the pin is on. The piece is locked in. I feel like it's pretty good. Anyway, let's... Um, let's pull the top up. See what we got. Okay, so let's so that's how this piece works. Just it shoves that piece down in there. And I don't like the angle of that. It, to me, is angled out that way. So I think I'll try to make that straight. In fact, let's go look at the other side. The other side is good, so that'll tell us if there's supposed to be some angle in there. No angle. Looks pretty good there. All right, so let me go massage the other side a bit. Okay, I massaged it a bit. To me, it looks pretty much like the other side does in this position. Oops. Look at the other side. Like I said, I'm sure I'm making a mountain out of a molehill here. It looks more flush with the rail. It doesn't look too awful bad is over a little bit. That looks pretty good. I think we'll go with it. I think this will do it. So we got the gist of how all this works. I think it's in a pretty good state right now. Try it one more time. So, preventative care. How do we prevent this from happening again? 
not too awful sure. First, best thing to do is to take the panel off to find out if the old part is broken. If you recall, let's see, is this the good one or the bad one? This one is the good one. If you recall, that there doesn't look like this bad one. So I don't know that you can do much about this. You could probably get a heating gun. Yeah, whoops. Get a heating gun, pull this thing back down to where it wants to be. It wants to be in line with this. So it just wants to be one piece. Heat gun might pull these loose, give it some the ability to relax the plastic. And then you can uh, reuse that piece. So I, I probably did need both, but you may or may not have to replace that. It just depends. Okay, preventative maintenance. Um, I think greasing this is an obvious choice. Greasing these pivot points is an obvious choice. Um, on this side, this is the old one. I'm not sure what can be done preventative maintenance wise, but I'm still gonna see if I can get that out and I'll have a spare part. So I thought I'd tack onto this video, repairing the other piece. If you recall, I said if I could bend it out, I will. And while it's not perfectly straight, I did take a um, hair blower, hair dryer, hair dryer. I don't have one, my wife has one. Hair dryer and was able to bend this back down to here. So I got a pretty hot applied pressure. And then while I was down and hot, I um, also let it let the hair dryer go cool cold and allowed it to stiffen back up because <clears throat> a lot of people just apply heat and get it where they want but you got to apply cold air or allow it to cool while holding it in place that way it retains where it was but i think i have a spare part now um so grease what you can. I'll put this thing back together and we'll talk okay. again. So one thing to make sure you don't do, which is fine the way I did it. Um, I put assembly lube on here, so really, really thick oil. I could have used WD-40 or something like that, but I feel like something really thick oil would be better served here. Also greased oiled the points I was talking to you about earlier here that pivot point and the one further down I'll show you back here this one back here that pivot point um, I wanted to make sure that when the top went up the oil doesn't somehow or another come in contact with the top and it doesn't um, so I felt comfortable applying the oil there I went ahead and greased the same areas or oiled the same areas on this side. So I'll just put it back together. I thought I'd cover one more thing with you just to reiterate the, the piece here. <clears throat> These two pieces, when I first started this video, I was thinking they were interconnected somehow. Somehow or another, something about the top was pulling and pushing on something on this being connected to this part but it's not again this piece here pushes and pulls against that and they're two totally separate things <clears throat> so i'm going to snap it back together you see all the pins that it takes just going to snap it back together and we'll pick back up in just a moment as i'm pushing this panel in here i want you to make note that i'm starting from this side here <clears throat> not from up there 
And that's because this piece here needs to get into this track right there. So I want to make sure I don't cover this when the panel goes on it. It needs to be behind it. <clears throat> At least that's the way it looks. Looks like it should be that way. <clears throat> anyway, get this little button. button back up. Panel did go, like I had said, it goes behind this rubber piece. I had to kind of ensure that went in first versus trying to pop it in this way. Bounce, 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 and this being last. You're better off putting it in this side first, clipping it in, then the rest kind of falls into place. But let's put the top up and watch it work. That's it. Problem solved. Anyway, YouTubers, if you found this, this video useful, like the video.